Hello everybody, it's Efrault Level 4 for the weekly update. A uh, few things today. Uh, first off, videos should be normal this week. Um, I'm going to try to get Final Fantasy recorded either today or tomorrow. Um, last week was weird and busy, so I'm sorry there was no stream. Uh, I'm going to try this week. I'm really going to try. Um, if I do stream this week, I'm honestly not sure what I want to play. I would like to play one of the Nintendo Switch Online games. Um, I'm going back and forth between either Banjo-Kazooie, continuing that, um, trying out Majora's Mask, because I wanted to do that when it first came out, or uh, Pokemon Snap, which just came, which just came out on the Switch Online, so... Uh, I think it's going to be one of those. Excuse me, so look forward to that. Uh, as for what day... Uh, if I had to guess, it would be Monday or Wednesday. Uh, Tuesdays don't really work for me. Tuesday nights don't really work for me anymore. Um, so we're going to have to change the stream times. Uh, so that kind of stinks. Uh, but yeah, so let's see what else. I had a lot of fun last week with, uh, getting stuck on a part in 10-2. Uh, not getting the percentage because it's just very finicky. But, um, eventually I got it, so videos are all, are all set and ready for that to continue. Uh, let's see, there was a Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Direct last week, uh, which showed off more of the story, uh, and uh, a whole lot of the battle system and the world. And I'm not going to talk about it in case people are still trying to avoid it, that's fine. Um, but uh, it looks good. Uh, the battle system, at least, looks like it is a logical evolution from how Xenoblade 1 and 2 and Torna were going. Um... So that's good. I just don't. I I would say also X, but I really don't remember X's battle system in the slightest. I just remember that like, it wasn't great. I feel bad that that game gets like, shafted because um, I played it a lot. I really wanted to like it, but like, it didn't have the the charm that, uh, that the first Xenoblade had. Like, they really went in a different direction in every way, and it was so bizarre. Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll see if they ever port it. I don't think they're going to, honestly. But we'll see. Um, let's see. Summer started. Uh... I'm going to be taking the next, like, for July, I'm going to be taking July off of Patreon stuff because, um, I've just been having problems with, uh, uh, drawing, you know, it, uh, large scale art block, but, um, I'm going to call it quality block if that makes any sense. Like, the, I don't think that what I'm drawing is the standard that I want, so I don't want people to pay me for it. Um, so I've just been, uh, yeah, it, it's not been great. It's been a real struggle to do the Patreon stuff for this month, let me tell you. Um, I'm, like, opening up the art program for, like, a 20 minutes at a time and then closing it again. <laughs> um, I have one more piece to go that I'm going to try to finish today, but the finishing for it, it's pretty much done but only because I've decided to do a lot less than I wanted to because of the scope of like what my commissions are supposed to be and the time sync that they're supposed to have. Um, you'll see when it's done what I mean, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty much done with it. I just have to make it look presentable. Um, but yeah, so uh, I'm also taking next month off just because... Um, a lot of people have been having monetary problems lately because of everything going on in the world right now. So I just want to give people a little bit of break. 
some extra money in their pockets, especially during the summer where you spend more on gas and stuff. Um, it's a lot of birthdays last week. It was Fury's birthday, it was Child's birthday, um, it was Cassie's birthday. It was, I have them all written down here so I don't have to guess. Uh, just those three over there. It's all still a lot of birthdays. Um, I did a Mario Party stream with Secret Fury and, um, and Ed, with Fury and Ed, on her channel. Um, so that was really, really fun. Uh, it was a nice highlight to my week, because uh, things just haven't been great. Um... Let's see. Yeah, so the Xenoblade thing went. There's a lot of pretty ladies, as you know, every Xenoblade should have, obviously. Um, for drawings, uh, I did. I did two. <laughs> I actually got two um, Patreon pieces done this past week, which, looking back on it, is a wonder. Um, the first one was um, Mika's uh, Sakura character, which I really like how this came out. Come on, you can focus. There we go. So, yeah, I just like how that came out of a whole bunch. Um, it was very difficult to do. I've been having so much, like, choice paralysis with posing and things like that, and you can see it with the other one here. This is Mio, a character from Xenoblade 3. Um, had no idea what kind of pose to do. I, I, I feel bad when I just do the generic, like, you know, like, it's the same pose that some people do for a lot of things, and... I want to do like either something more dynamic or use my commissions as a way to make good art but also test myself and try to do new things. So reusing reusing poses hurts me. Um, but eventually you start running out so you have to try to see if you want to do something good or you want to do something new and it's usually not the same thing but um, I don't like how that Mio came out. I don't know if it's because of the blank face that I gave her, which is part of it, I think, but also just because her outfit has a lot of like colors, so you don't see the detail because the the shirt and the coat and the and the skirt don't stand out from each other. So um, I think I could have done better there. Um, let's see. Uh, I did a um, a little mini sketch thing. I just said on on Twitter on my uh, Dovey Roth art thing, like, "Hey, give me ideas for things to sketch." I just want to sketch things. Uh, so this was the the result uh, from people asking. Uh, we got a Vivalon, uh, the tainted Apollyon from Isaac, Donatello, Mirabel, Mirabel. Is that her name? Uh, from Encanto. I have still not watched that. Luigi from Cars. Um, I think that's Ignez from Fire Emblem. Uh, a Growlithe, Toriel, and uh, Jin. So, yeah. Little, little sketches with as much detail and effort as I wanted to put into them. Um, and I'm going to probably do more of that in the coming month. And maybe just do like sketch streams or something, I don't know. Um, where um, ex essentially expectationless, uh, expectationless uh, drawing. And so I just need to, uh, I need to get that perfectionist mindset out of my head. Um, let's see. Record Keeper, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 7. Final Fantasy Record Keeper announced that it's shutting down. Uh, at the end of September. So that's kind of sad because it's been going on for seven and a half years already. Um, I'm going to miss that. And um, anything happened yesterday? No. Um, yeah. 
that's that's about it. There's other stuff going on in the world. I'm not gonna get into right now because I just I'm not I'm not qualified to talk about it. But uh, I would like to say that um, you should leave people's bodies alone. Let them let them do the things that they need to do for themselves. It shouldn't be a um, a hot take, but apparently it is. But, uh, yeah. There's other people that have other things to say on the matter, and uh, listen to them. But, um, yeah. As for just other things this past week, it's just, is this is a very hard week for me. Um, I... Uh, we, we, went, we went car shopping because our Honda Odyssey is going down the tubes and um, after stitching it together for three years now it's a 2007 Honda Odyssey so it's it's old but after stitching it together for three years we realized or my parents realized we've been saying it for my brother and I've been saying it for a while my parents realized that maybe it's better to just get a new car um, the unfortunate thing is because of the size that I am how tall I am and just how wide um, but like my legs are very long uh, most cars just don't fit me um, so we have to get a big car and uh, I don't want a big car but um, uh, we're getting uh, we're getting a Chevy Traverse which is a big car but it was the we tried out a whole load of cars midsize and, and stuff that uh, just because of the way that the steering wheel was or like a console whatever it just I couldn't move my leg f To get to the gas or the pedal. I would just hit the steering wheel or whatever even at the full height and everything It was horribly uncomfortable They don't make cars for big people like they don't make normal cars for big people They just make expensive cars for big people. So yeah, that was an experience uh, I hope that I'm able to get used to this car because it's unfortunately the only option we we're able to like find um, and, uh, I got a, uh, I got a letter from Social Security in the mail yesterday. Um, to correct what I said on Twitter, I was wrong. We didn't win my appeal to get back onto disability. Um, they accepted my appeal, which they still had, we, we filed an appeal when they said in February that, um, uh, that they were kicking me off, but they never like acknowledged the fact that they got it, and we had to spend all these months chasing them and hounding them, saying, "Hey, why haven't you said anything?" So they finally sent us a letter after we found people to take on the case that um, that they accepted the appeal. So I'm still the good news for that which is what I need, is that I'm getting back pay for disability payments that I hadn't gotten for the past two months. But also, I'm not losing my health coverage, which I was going to lose next month. And um, I need that if I want to do physical therapy and other things. But like, they were, they were kicking me off of this before I had my back surgery. Like, they had decided that I was okay, and I'm like, hey, I need to get the rods removed. And they're like, oh, isn't that a shame? So it's just been a very, very stressful few months with that. So we unfortunately have to keep fighting. I was wrong. We didn't win. Uh, we unfortunately have to keep fighting, but I don't have the specter over my head that, A, I don't have any money right now, and B, um, I don't have any health coverage, so I can't get better. So I can now work on that instead of just worrying. So that's good. It's a good thing. It's a step. And I really needed that to disappear from what's been bothering me. Because, um, yeah, if you want to get better and you don't have the means to do so, it's stressful, surprisingly. <clears throat> but yeah. That's about it, though. Um, I kind of took the last uh, week off of doing a lot of things. Um, 
I've mostly just been hanging out with my brother and watching ReZero. <laughs> um, and that's okay. ReZero is not a great anime to watch when you're depressed, by the way. Um, it's not a happy... I mean, it has happy points, but, like, it's not a happy anime. The, the poor guy, like, dies a lot and has to deal with, with the fact that he is mostly useless. And, um... You know, that he, he can't, he continually can't do the things he needs to do to help people until he figures out, you know, what to do. There's a lot of psychology in that show. Um, but yeah, not the best thing to watch when you're depressed, but it is what I've been watching. Um, but, um, yeah, so that's, that I've just been trying to do things that are... Less stressful, I guess. Um, been playing a lot of Spirit Fair. That game continually surprises me with its writing. Um, it is very... I'm not going to say political, but it's very poignant. Um, uh, and uh, very, very well written. Um, very funny, and it, it doesn't really pull punches with the characters that it has. I, I very much enjoy it. Um, and, yeah. So this week I'm going to try to finish that Patreon thing. We're going to try to have a Nintendo 64 stream of some sort. And we're going to... I'm going to try to finish up another project uh, that it has been hanging over my head like the Sword of Damocles <laughs> that I just want to get done and finished um, so that I can take that stress away and uh, maybe I'll finish that today, who knows uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching and um, I appreciate all being there as always, hanging in there um, we, live in, we live in interesting times to say the least, but uh, just remember to hang in there, and uh, don't lose hope with, you know, the situations of your personal life or the world at large. You know, there's always the cliched line, when there's life, there's hope, you know? There's always a chance for things to change, and, um, you know, just remember that, uh, in order for things to change, you need to be around for it. You know, for things to change in your life. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye.